In a small, picturesque French town, nestled among the rolling vineyards of southwestern France, a tranquil evening was about to be disrupted by an extraordinary sighting. This user on social media captured a mysterious event on camera. Armed with his camera, he patiently awaited the perfect moment to capture the sun's descent into the horizon. But as he gazed through his camera's viewfinder, he noticed something unusual in the frame. Three large, luminous orbs hung suspended in the sky just above the horizon. Their radiant orange glow contrasted starkly against the darkening evening sky. The photographer, thinking it was a trick of the light or perhaps a smudge on his lens, lowered the camera and peered at the horizon with his eyes. The orbs remained vivid and mesmerizing. The people around him had also taken notice of the orbs. The man said that he was intrigued by the objects, and he knew he had to capture this extraordinary sight. He raised his camera once more and aimed it at the orbs. They seemed to hang in the sky, motionless, yet pulsating with an ethereal energy. As he continued to photograph the orbs, the sun dipped below the horizon, casting a warm golden glow over the bay. The photographer said that he couldn't help but feel that he had stumbled upon something extraordinary, a phenomenon beyond the ordinary scope of a sunset. These orbs, with their vibrant and mysterious presence, seemed to defy conventional explanation. As twilight descended upon the bay, the orbs gradually dimmed, their glow softening until they became mere specks in the darkening sky. The man's camera had captured the remarkable sequence of photographs, each frame preserving the essence of their presence. The man shared the photographs to social media, capturing the attention of experts, astronomers and UFO enthusiasts. Some suggested the orbs might be natural phenomena or atmospheric anomalies, while others entertained the possibility of advanced visitation. As of right now, various theories have been put forward to explain what these objects are, with those who investigate the unknown saying that these orbs are commonly witnessed all around the world. Unidentified flying objects have fascinated and perplexed humanity for decades. Among the various types of sightings, one category stands out for its unique and elusive nature, orb UFOs. These mysterious glowing spheres of light have been witnessed in the skies all over the world, sparking debates, theories, and a sense of wonder among both skeptics and believers. Orb unidentified objects are characterized by their spherical or circular shape and their tendency to emit light, often brightly glowing in various colors. These orbs are typically reported as self-illuminated objects that appear to move with intelligence and purpose. Unlike conventional aircraft, they lack wings, fuselage or visible propulsion systems, adding to their enigmatic nature. Orb sightings have occurred all over the world, with accounts dating back centuries. These sightings range from isolated eyewitness reports to multiple witnesses, observing the same phenomenon simultaneously. Over the years, a number of mysterious orb-shaped objects have been witnessed. In the quiet countryside of rural England, nestled amidst rolling hills and hidden away from the bustling cities, lay a series of secretive military bases. These bases, cloaked in mystery and surrounded by tight security, were known for their role in safeguarding the nation's defence secrets. Little did anyone know that above the tranquil English countryside, a remarkable phenomenon was about to unfold. The first reports came in from RAF Lackenheath, a Royal Air Force base in Suffolk. On a clear summer night, a squadron of fighter pilots was conducting routine training exercises. As they soared through the night sky, they noticed a series of unusual luminous orbs dancing above the base. The orbs, glowing with an ethereal radiance, seemed to move with an intelligence that defied explanation. At first, the pilots believed they were witnessing a secret military exercise. However, as they radioed their base, they received a perplexing response. No authorized exercises were taking place in the area. The mystery deepened as the orbs continued to dart and weave, executing maneuvers beyond the capabilities of any known aircraft. Word of the encounter quickly spread among the base personnel, and soon the entire RAF Lakenheath was abuzz with speculation. The military, faced with a situation they couldn't readily explain, initiated an internal investigation. In the days that followed, additional sightings of orb unidentified objects were reported from other military bases across the United Kingdom. RAF Bentwaters, 
another Suffolk-based airfield, experienced similar encounters. RAF Cosford in Shropshire and RAF Shawbury in Shropshire also reported sightings of the mysterious orbs. The orb unidentified objects, it seemed, had an uncanny affinity for military installations. They would appear above the bases, often hovering silently for hours, before suddenly accelerating and vanishing into the night sky. Radar operators were perplexed by the object's ability to appear and disappear without a trace. As news of these sightings reached the public, speculation ran wild. Enthusiasts who researched the unknown proposed theories ranging from secret military technology to advanced visitations. Media outlets scrambled to cover the story, while government officials and military authorities remained tight-lipped. Within the military, a team of experts was assembled to investigate the phenomenon. They reviewed radar data, interviewed witnesses, and conducted exhaustive analyses. However, the elusive nature of the orbs and the lack of any conclusive evidence left them with more questions than answers. Then, a breakthrough occurred during a routine radar analysis. An astute radar technician noticed a pattern in the orb's appearances. They seemed to favor certain locations and timeframes, appearing above the bases on specific nights, often during training exercises or when certain equipment was operational. This discovery led to a daring experiment. Military commanders decided to coordinate a night where multiple bases across the UK would engage in training exercises while deploying certain equipment simultaneously. The hope was that the orbs would appear once more, providing an opportunity to observe and track their movements. As the night of the coordinated exercises arrived, anticipation ran high among military personnel. The sky was clear and the bases were buzzing with activity. As the designated time approached, radar operators scanned the skies and fighter pilots soared into the dark expanse. Then it happened. Above RAF Lakenheath, RAF Bentwaters, RAF Cosford and RAF Shawbury, the orbs appeared once more. This time, they seemed more numerous, forming intricate patterns in the night sky. Radar operators tracked their movements as they circled above the bases. As the orbs executed their maneuvers, a sense of awe and wonder filled the military personnel. These objects, with their graceful and intelligent movements, were unlike anything they had ever encountered. There was a palpable sense that they were witnessing something extraordinary. Despite the thorough observations and data collected that night, the orbs eventually departed, vanishing into the vastness of the night sky. The military's investigation yielded no definitive answers, and the phenomenon remained shrouded in mystery. Another interesting account is that of unidentified orbs observed out in the ocean. In the vast expanse of the world's oceans, where the horizon meets the infinite blue, the crew of the USS Orion sailed through calm waters under a starlit sky. As part of a routine naval exercise, the ship's crew conducted their nightly duties, their thoughts drifting toward home and loved ones waiting on distant shores. Lieutenant Commander Mitchell, a seasoned officer with a passion for stargazing, stood on the ship's deck, peering through her binoculars at the night sky. As she scanned the heavens, her gaze was drawn to an unexpected sight. Above the USS Orion, a cluster of luminous orbs hung in the night sky. They glowed with an otherworldly radiance, their movements graceful and deliberate. She blinked in disbelief, convinced that her eyes were playing tricks on her. She lowered her binoculars and stared at the orbs with her eyes. They remained, hovering silently above the ship, casting an eerie yet mesmerizing glow. Word of the sighting quickly spread among the crew, and soon, Sailors and officers alike gathered on the deck to witness the phenomenon. Their expressions ranged from awe to disbelief as they stared at the orbs, which seemed to defy the laws of physics. As they watched, the orbs began to move, executing maneuvers that defied any conventional explanation. They glided through the night sky with precision, shifting from formation to formation as if engaged in a complex dance. The USS Orion's radar systems picked up the objects, confirming their presence. Lieutenant Commander Mitchell, her curiosity piqued, couldn't help but feel that these orbs were unlike anything she had ever encountered. They weren't part of any known naval exercise, and their intelligent movements suggested a level of control beyond human capabilities. The sighting above the USS Orion was not an isolated incident. 
Similar reports began to emerge from other Navy ships patrolling the world's oceans. From the Atlantic to the Pacific, from the Mediterranean to the Indian Ocean, naval personnel witnessed orb UFOs hovering above their vessels. The orbs seemed to have a particular affinity for Navy ships engaged in sensitive operations. On more than one occasion, they appeared above aircraft carriers and submarines during exercises or deployments. They would linger for hours before vanishing into the night sky. Rumors and speculation ran rampant among the sailors. Some believed the orbs were a secret military project, while others entertained the notion of extraterrestrial visitations. The absence of a definitive explanation only fueled the intrigue. Within the Navy, a team of experts was assembled to investigate the phenomenon. They reviewed radar data, interviewed witnesses, and analyzed the orb's flight patterns. However, the elusive nature of the objects and the lack of concrete evidence left them with more questions than answers. As the sightings continued, crew members stood ready on deck, their eyes fixed on the night sky as they executed maneuvers and deployed equipment. Radar operators closely monitored their screens. Then, as if on cue, the orbs appeared. Above the Navy ships, they glowed with a radiant intensity, casting a surreal glow on the water below. As the ships executed their maneuvers, the orbs seemed to respond in kind, maintaining their presence above the vessels. The coordinated effort provided a wealth of data and observations. The orbs' movements were tracked and recorded, and their interactions with the ships were carefully documented. Yet, despite the meticulous observations, their origin and purpose remained elusive. In the years that followed, the phenomenon of orb UFOs above Navy ships persisted, defying explanation and captivating the imaginations of those who witnessed them. They became a part of naval lore, a reminder that even in the depths of the ocean, there existed mysteries that transcended human understanding. This farmer couldn't believe what he was seeing when he viewed his CCTV footage. As of right now, there's not much information to go by and no news outlets picked up the story, which is odd because people can't seem to wrap their heads around what happened. Upon entering, his eyes widened in disbelief. There, amidst the hay and dust, lay a gaping hole in his barn roof. The wooden planks had splintered and shattered, leaving a trail of destruction in their wake. The farmer began to panic as he surveyed the damage, wondering how such a catastrophe could have taken place. He rushed back to the house, clambering up the staircase to reach his office. The farmer had installed a security camera system on his property years ago, mainly to keep an eye on potential thieves. Now, those cameras might hold the key to unravelling the mystery of the damaged barn. He accessed the CCTV footage on his computer. He watched the playback, and what he saw left him utterly bewildered. In the dimly lit footage from the previous night, a bizarre sequence of events unfolded before him. One of his prized cows could be seen falling through the roof, with many saying that the cow was falling at speed and that it was like it had been dropped from a great height. As if guided by some unseen force, the cow suddenly shot through the roof, damaging the entire area. One farmer commented that in all of their years of owning a barn, they've never had a cow appear on top of it. Others questioned how such a large cow would be able to climb on top of the roof. It wasn't long before online users began to put forward their own theories for why the cow fell through the roof. The fascination with unidentified objects has endured for decades, captivating the imagination of people worldwide. While unidentified object sightings have been reported in various forms and locations. One of the more curious aspects of these encounters involves the mysterious interest in cattle. Throughout the history of sightings, a peculiar pattern has emerged. Cattle frequently feature in close encounters. Witnesses have reported a range of incidents involving unidentified objects and cattle. Reports of cattle found under mysterious circumstances often involve peculiar surgical precision with organs and body parts removed with apparent surgical expertise. These cases have raised questions about the motivations behind these actions. Witnesses have claimed to see mysterious objects hovering above pastures and cattle being lifted into the air or taken aboard the craft. 
Those who have seen the video suggested that the cow may have been taken by one of these objects and dropped through the roof. The claims sound outlandish, but for several decades, farmers have reported seeing mysterious lights above their pastures. In some cases, unidentified object sightings have coincided with reports of cattle displaying unusual behavior, such as panic, agitation, or disorientation. Witnesses have noted that these changes in behavior seem to coincide with the presence of unidentified objects. Cattle expirations have been occurring for many years, with documented cases dating back as far as the late 19th century. However, it was during the 1970s that a noticeable increase in reported incidents occurred, primarily in the United States. In the years that followed this surge, regular reports of such expirations began to emerge from various corners of the globe, indicating a widespread phenomenon. These incidents, characterized by unexplained and precise dissections of cattle, have continued to perplex and intrigue researchers and investigators alike. Despite extensive research, we are no closer to understanding what causes these mysterious expirations. The occurrence of this phenomenon, although it has never completely disappeared from public attention, seemed to have diminished to some extent. However, over the past 25 years, the situation has taken a different turn. In fact, if anything, these events appear to be transpiring with increasing frequency. It is evident that they are becoming more prevalent and noteworthy. This trend, which has been observed in recent times, points towards a significant shift in the frequency and significance of these incidents. During the summer of 1990 in Vancouver, Canada, the residents found themselves caught in a series of inexplicable occurrences that lasted the entire season. Unusual sounds, reminiscent of machine-like noises, pervaded the skies across the region, perplexing the local inhabitants who were unaccustomed to such auditory phenomena. Adding to the enigma, a resident even recounted witnessing the presence of an unfamiliar figure in a nearby field. These forms of expirations are not restricted solely to the continent of North America. Moreover, researchers in the United Kingdom have conducted investigations that shed light on the potential perpetrators. The phenomenon spans beyond geographical boundaries and has captured the attention of experts worldwide. These experts have delved deep into their research aiming to uncover the underlying causes and individuals or entities responsible for these mysterious expirations. According to the Animal Pathology Field Unit, there is an overwhelming certainty that advanced beings are the culprits behind the incidents of animal expirations, particularly those that have persistently plagued the Welsh region. The Animal Pathology Field Unit has conducted extensive research and analysis leaving no room for doubt regarding the involvement of mysterious entities in these incidents. Wales, in particular, has experienced a significant increase in unidentified object activity, which directly corresponds to the surge in cases of animal expirations. The meticulous investigations conducted proved that many of these incidents could not have been done by humans. Investigator Phil Hoyle, a seasoned expert with years of experience in dealing with such cases, refutes the notion that these instances of animal expirations are linked to rituals. According to Hoyle, the level of precision and sophistication observed in these injuries indicates the potential involvement of advanced beings, the military, or perhaps even a combination of both. This suggests that there may be an underlying agenda or purpose behind these incidents. Over a span of six months, from 2011 to 2012, Numerous well-known show horses experienced acts similar to those seen in cattle. Instances of these incidents were reported from various locations across the United Kingdom, sparking a wide range of theories. Speculations ranged from sinister rituals to clandestine government experiments, leaving the public perplexed and searching for answers. In the city of Shrewsbury, approximately a year before the present time of this account in 2010, farmers encountered a rather perplexing phenomenon. They witnessed strange occurrences involving their livestock, especially sheep. According to their reports, peculiar entities or objects would suspend themselves in mid-air above the animals, emitting a laser beam downwards onto them. During a particularly active phase of these unusual explorations, numerous individuals claimed to have observed strange orange lights in the sky. Several theories and hypotheses have emerged to explain the UFO cattle connection though none have been definitively proven. 
These theories offer intriguing possibilities for why unidentified objects might theoretically be interested in cattle. Some speculate that advanced beings, if indeed behind these sightings, might be conducting biological experiments involving Earth's flora and fauna. Cattle, as a large and easily accessible terrestrial species, could be a subject of interest for such studies. Cattle have been subjected to extensive genetic modification and breeding by humans for centuries. UFO interest in cattle could relate to advanced civilizations' curiosity about our genetic experiments and breeding practices, leading them to study these domesticated animals. In hypothetical scenarios, where advanced beings are facing resource scarcity on their home planets, they might consider terrestrial species, including cattle, as potential sources of sustenance or materials. This theory, however, raises ethical and logistical questions about the logistics of such an endeavor. Cattle grazing areas often cover vast expanses of land. Mysterious sightings near cattle ranches might be attributed to the extraterrestrial interest in monitoring environmental changes, possibly related to ecological concerns or Earth's shifting climate. Cattle hold significant cultural and symbolic value in many human societies. Mysterious sightings involving cattle might be part of extraterrestrial attempts at communication or interaction with our species, acknowledging the significance we attribute to these animals. Encounters involving cattle could serve a psychological purpose, potentially aimed at studying human reactions, belief systems, or societal responses to unusual events. This theory suggests that cattle serve as a proxy for human subjects in experiments. It is essential to approach the unidentified object and cattle connection with scientific skepticism and acknowledge that the evidence supporting these theories is largely anecdotal and circumstantial. Many sightings involving cattle lack definitive proof or concrete scientific data to establish causality or correlation. Although the most popular stories surrounding advanced phenomena tend to focus on the topics of sightings of mysterious crafts or supernatural occurrences featuring humanoid creatures, many researchers often forget that some of the strongest pieces of evidence of intervention appears to center around the disappearances of cattle and subsequent damages to livestock. The earliest known written record of bizarre animal surgeries and sudden disappearances of a large number of livestock comes from an official document dated sometime during the early 1600s when an investigator for the court of James I of England claimed that impossible to explain mass expirations of sheep were being recorded all across London and nearby shires. It was originally believed that the sudden expirations of the sheep could have been caused by neighbouring farms competing in market production alongside hungry travellers that were committing theft as they travelled throughout London, of which was the most heavily populated region during the 1600s. However, when the investigations took place, evidence was found that seemed to reject the original hypothesis. According to the court investigator, the sheep were found to have expired through causes that were otherwise impossible to attribute to human activity. Their organs, meat and fleece remained untouched, with only evidence of possible tallow removal, and blood having been completely drained from the animal with no spillage. Even more difficult to explain was the sheer number of sheep that suddenly expired in what farmers believed would have been over the course of only a few hours. The investigator wrote that in some cases, there were more than a hundred sheep that suddenly expired, and no evidence of footprints or tracks that could point towards a group of people having perpetrated the crime. When the investigator asked around local regions that were at the epicenter of the series of sheep disappearances and expirations, many attributed the sight of brilliant fireworks nearby to have been the possible cause. Some believed that the fireworks could have scared the sheep and caused them to pass away in fright, whereas others believed that the lights they had seen in the sky could have had a more sinister purpose. The court ended the investigation by saying that around the city of London and some of the shires adjoining, whole expirations of sheep have been made, in some places the number reaching as high as 100. The phenomenon would continue for several decades before ending entirely. The most interesting aspect of these sheep disappearances seem to bear remarkable resemblance to modern-day cattle disappearances and possible advanced intervention. When researching mass livestock expirations, it became obvious that cattle disappearances and surgeries are a fairly recent development, with the first recorded instances beginning during the 1800s to modern day. 
Many believe that the sudden change of livestock being targeted, from sheep to now cattle, appears to match directly with the world market and primary source of meat production during these times. When sheep disappearances, surgeries and unexplained expirations were occurring en masse, the main meat export around the world centered around sheep populations. It's only been over the last couple of centuries that the role of cattle has slowly changed for the purpose of meat consumption. During the 1600 and late 1700s, when recorded instances of sheep expirations were occurring, cattle were predominantly used for labor and secondarily used for milk production. So, what do you make of these mysterious events? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.